So be it outbound, be it inbound, be it having that hook line for all these things, you need to really understand what are some of the highlights of the skills which you have. It's like a trailer of your portfolio. Your portfolio is already a trailer of your work, but there is a trailer for your portfolio also. That's what we're trying to make. And I don't have to explain why it is important because using that, you can push it into multiple things. If you create this proof of skills as a document for yourself, you can use it as a base and you can create a cover letter or you can write an approach line or you can create LinkedIn posts. You can do multiple things because you now a highlight of your skills. Okay. So as I said, it's a trailer of your portfolio. It's a scannable version of your portfolio. It showcases few examples. It makes people at a glance, they'll get an idea about what your skills are. Okay. So I'll give you an example. Okay. So this is basically a mail which one of my students has written. Okay. So I'll tell you the story. The company has contacted and all they said is your profile looks interesting or something. And they said, okay, let's do an assignment. Most companies will approach you with the assignment. But then this person came to me and said, okay, they asked me to do an assignment. But before they look at my assignment, I want them to understand my existing work. I want them to focus on my portfolio and also take a few decisions. They said, okay, then we started brainstorming and okay, what shall we do? And that's when I said, let's do one thing. Let's create a trailer for your portfolio itself and let us send a mail from it. So that's when we made this. I said, let me give you a, a few highlights of my past work. So when it comes to understanding a customer problem, so I have an image, right? And I have a very specific story. My client came with a brief how he wants to take feedback mechanism for an organization better and how it will impact employee motivation. The first thing I did was dig deeper into industry and understand major issues. If you want, you can click and you can look at all the details in my portfolio, right? I've gotten multiple insights and I've done all these things. But for now, you can have a brief understanding of what I have done. Using design systems, in a concert project, I worked on this Mintra design system, okay? So he has built, this is like a snapshot of the design system which he has built. Interested more, click, go to the relevant section where I've actually built the entire system and components and all that stuff. You can find it over there, right? So in the same way, file organization, why file organization? Because that's also a very important skill. And he is that person. He is someone who organizes a file very neatly. Everything will be very organized in his file. Like nobody can be confused and look at his file, right? So in this way, in a quick scan, you will quickly understand that this person has a bunch of very good tool skills, right? If I go from the start, this person can do very good product thinking, has very good tool skills, can maintain a design system, can do usability testing and can do very good prototyping as well, right? And this person can also work on very good handoff. So with briefs of the examples in front of them. And this is a very attractive proposal. If I want to hire you and I want to quickly evaluate you, a very quick document like this, which I can quickly scan or basically a mail like this can quickly make me interested in looking at your work. Because if I want to hire someone and I have in my mind, I'm looking for someone who has very good system skills and someone who has probably done some handoff for an experienced designer. Okay, this is an experienced designer. So I am looking at that, some, some handoff and probably someone who has very good product thinking. If I have that in my mind, I look at this. Oh, looks like I think this guy can handle a bunch of stuff. Let me start having a conversation. Oh, this person has worked with a bunch of variables and stuff. Oh, how is it that? I'm curious. Let me actually go and look at it. Right. So as, again, as a recruiter, the more specific you go and give me examples to evaluate you, the better it works for recruiters because that's what they're looking for. They're not looking at generic lines. They don't want generic stories, generic stuff. They want specifics of your skills to make decisions, to make much better decisions. So this is an assignment which I want to give you. You guys can probably make much better versions. This is frankly speaking, after this guy made this, I said like, dude, it looks a little boring. So make it a little more attractive, much better, more scannable and much better. So like the canvas is yours, how you want to talk about it. But the activity is simple. Don't talk about every skill out there. Talk about only few highlight skills. Again, this doesn't mean that you do not have the other skills. It's not like that. But you're highlighting a few focus areas about yourself, which you're proud of, which you want them to look at. See, this guy has put Figma files out because he's a freelancer and he has some experience. So he's directly taking people to Figma and it is enough for people to decide that. That's it. So 
you are basically getting into their journey of evaluation. They do not have time to look at your entire portfolio. No worries. Look at one or few good things in my portfolio. I'm making you curious now. Oh, now I want to see more about how you have built the design system. Now I'm looking at your case study. This way it's very natural, but it's not very organic. Got it? So that's the idea. That's the homework. Prepare your documentation of proof of skills. You can make it anywhere. You can make it on Figma or Notion or whatever. You can make it anywhere. Have an email version and keep it with you so that whenever someone asks you, you can use this as a proof of skills. Now, what can you do is, basis the way the company wants to hire, you can actually customize this. If you have some hints that they want people who can do usability testing. So you prioritize this section. You take this section and prioritize and talk about how you have recently done a usability testing and they can understand more about it. Probably you can talk about a skill of how you are very good at iterations. So talk about one or two things where you have iterated nicely. So put that part and put the usability testing well apart. So the good part is this proof of work Vara trailer spans across projects. It's not just talking to one project where your portfolio may like every project is different. But whereas this is going to span across projects. Now the thing is, you can also utilize this section in your portfolio as well. Let's say Ishita, what you can do is like probably before the older projects here, you can have a section where people can look into this particular page or a bunch of highlights. Okay. Yeah. A bunch of skills and a few examples, literally, which people can see and decide and click more and understand about it. Awesome.